one of the burner on my Samsung cooking range was staying on all the time. Even if the switch is at off position, the burner was staying warm. The red light always stayed lit, indicating that the surface is hot. I figured it was the switch that needed to be replaced. First thing I did is unplug the appliance and make sure all the burners are cooled down. Next I had to remove the back plate by removing few screws. I wasn't holding the cover so it fell on the ground. Be careful that it can injure you. So first thing I'll do is just simply pull it out and the two screws to remove. So both screws are out. We're gonna push it out. So this is the one. So next thing I did is took a picture of the old part. I made sure the numbers on it are visible. I needed the part number and wattage information. I took the picture to a local appliance store, showed it to them, and they gave me a replacement switch. Here I want to mention that all these switches on my appliance are different and they have different part numbers and wattage. So it was very important for me to know the old part information so I can buy the identical switch. The very first thing I would do now is to take a picture so that I know that each wires where to connect so these are different colors for each of them I then took a picture of the wires connected to the old switch so I know which wire goes where so I can apply the same setting to the new switch So here is the new one. This is identical and you have to make sure that this number and this wattage matches with the one I'm on it right now. So matches and then also you have to make sure the number matches number is on this side the two numbers should match so if they don't match and then make sure that sometimes it can be a different brand that has a different part number but if you look at it uh, this 
got uh, like 2500 watts so make sure it is a 2500 watt the same one so once I have the right part I'm just gonna start disconnecting so now if you just pull it it won't come out you need a plier okay. and then even when you're using a plier if you look at this you just need to hold the this area and then it will come out he oh, it comes by hand so that's great so you just need to but if you hold it fully it won't come out you just need to hold it just around this top area push it and it should come out one hand is difficult I'm gonna to use flash maybe okay there you go so this one is basically looks you can see that it's burnt here so something was wrong so in order to remove this you need to just squeeze the upper part not the whole thing just the upper part of it and then take it out if hand doesn't work then you need to use a plier yeah for this one I might need a plier so just the just the top part I'm gonna need two hands for this I have all five out so using the picture I have taken it I'm just gonna reconnect it there is another way to do that it's like you know you take one out and from the old one you take one out and then you can put it in the new one then take the other one out put it in the new one so that can also work while looking at my pictures I know which wire goes where I'm gonna reconnect them so in order to reconnect I'm just gonna take a wire and make sure if you look inside this metal thing insert this pin in the center yeah. don't insert on the side of the rubber make sure it sits in between this I'm gonna take it out take the rubber out just for the just to show you so yeah so it should and you should hear a click once you hear a click and show the both side and then it's secure it shouldn't come out and put it up so I'm gonna do the rest of them the same way plug it in Three wires there. Three more to go. Two more to go, actually. So make sure nothing is staying loose. They don't come out and uh, this is very important to plug it right otherwise it may not work and uh, just want to make sure with my picture that uh, everything is great blue here this grayish here this blue here I think this one is the red one comes here and the black one goes there so I did it wrong I'm just gonna switch it Thank <laughs> you. 
let's check it again Chief, bottom ones black red and blue and thin blue and gray and yellow here so all good once I have everything plugged in I'm just going to push it this way to the hole and make sure it comes out from the other side so once it's here I'm going to make sure the hole on the switch aligns with the hole on this face here so just like that if I move you can see the holes move so holes have to be aligned so just gonna insert the screw by hand it's gonna be a little difficult I might use screwdriver maybe okay looks like it's in now I'm gonna do the second one so I have this here I'm just gonna Now I'm going to make sure it's tight and the other one I'm going to tighten to I left it loose so that nothing doesn't go so from the back I'm feeling that all oh, in place it's not moving so that's good so once in place just take this knob and things might have moved so yes that's it I'm going to install the back cover now so this is the one that is installed and while working on it make sure you haven't unplugged anything accidentally we unpl had plugged this one and I replugged it so make sure everything looks good on this side and then now I'm gonna install the back cover to install the back cover so first I'm gonna insert these make sure they go behind this lift it up all the way and then slide it down and then you have to make sure the corners like this one stays behind the same thing that corner and this thing sits behind so once it's like this we're gonna put these screws back on so make sure this hole aligns the hole for this screw put it by hand I'm going to put all of them by hand first before I use the screwdriver. So once I have all five screws in, I'm just going to tighten them all. Don't have to be super tight. Once you feel it doesn't move anymore, it's good. thing I'm going to do is re-plug the range, the other one, make sure it goes in all the way and once it's plugged in we're going to test our stove now. So the time has been reset, we'll have to reset the time to the current time but anyway so we're going to turn it on to the high and then see if everything works good I can feel the heat oh very strong so it looks like that is good now you can see the red coming thank you for watching please like and subscribe